Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle-Earth. In this episode, we're finally going to begin the campaign missions. We're going to begin with the Nun Cannon, and it is by starting with the Evil Campaign. We're going to put to test what we've learned from the Battle School by choosing the hard difficulty. I think we should not fail too badly. I hope so. Let's give it a try. So we begin on this world map. And we need to click the mouse button to begin. We have Mordor over here, Ithilien over here, and many other notable locations, but we begin at Isengard. The Dark Lord Sauron must reclaim the One Ring. With its power unleashed, he will dominate all of Middle-earth. Only Gondor lies between Mordor and the lands beyond. Once it falls, all of Middle-earth shall be Sauron's. Rohan, Lands of the Horse Lords. Soon these lands will have a new master. We shall not explore too much, because this is not the canon of the story. I'm going to repeat this at the good campaign, but if we were to hover our mouse over the mission area, we get a snippet of the scene from the movies, and I think that's pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and fight with the Isengard army, Saruman leading the charge, it seems. Isengard, once allied to Gondor, this land now serves a new master, the Dark Lord Sauron. <laughs> Feed our forges with wood from the great forests of Fangorn. With enough fuel, we shall breed a mighty army of orcs. Okay, they're done talking. Now it's my turn. Did you see these? And okay, no. Top of the screen. Left mouse to click, right mouse to move. But before that, the snippet from the movie. It's pretty cool. We get to see some of these iconic scenes from the movie. But then again, some of it, no. I think every scene was iconic, right? <laughs> anyway, to move around in this uh, combat mode, or rather, battle mode, use the arrow key, or just push the mouse. And why are we looking at the top of Orthanc? It's because Orthanc Tower should have Gandalf stuck up there, imprisoned by Saruman before the devastation around Isengard. Like, the Orthanc Tower. Apparently, no, that's not the case. Gondorf is not there. Left click, right click, <laughs> left click again, deselect. To select more than one, left click, hold the left click to select and drag, and then release the left click to select a group of people. And uh, right click when selected to attack enemies. Now we need to take a look at this. This is objectives and bonus objectives. 16 buildings, Saruman level 2, finish with 100 Uruks, purchase a power. So we begin with purchasing the power and we're gonna get this one, War Chant, 150% damage, 50% armor to targeted units. While in this menu though, the game continues, so don't spend too much time here. This is a game menu. First time we take a look at the menu, it uh, pauses the game, at least this one pauses the game. Escape does 
bring up the menu and we can escape to escape that menu. Select on these to build things. And we can build Isengard Uruk Pit. Trains Urukai, Uruk Crossbowman, Uruk Pikeman and Berserkers. Note Uruk Crossbowman. Okay, take note of that. We've got Lumber Mill over here. We can train Orc Laborers from here. And they will repair structures and gather resources. Apparently though, mm, yeah, they don't seem to repair something later. Later, later, not now. We can double click the same unit to select all of those of the same type on the screen. But I think it only applies to the same levels. So if it's like level 2 and level 1, it doesn't select. This is a labor. You go and cut. Wait, wait, hang on. Did I did I tell the person to go? Okay, go go go. Here here here. Okay. Select, and we go here, and we gotta fight these. Fight them, fight them, fight them. Click on this wizard blast, and then right click to on the target. I mean, right click on the target. Yeah. Okay, it does that, but they're dead already. <laughs> it's okay, whatever. We need to make more people and we need to build a lot of buildings. Also, how do we construct or train people? Just click and then we can queue them up. So like this is the second one and you see a little one over there. And then this is a little one. If we click on it, it's a two. So it's like one, two and three according to our click sequence. So let's get more of the Uruk pits and the lumber mills. We get something that's cheaper. So lumber mills cheaper. We get some lumber mills. We don't need all of Uru pits because they're expensive. There's no need for that. But we do need a few because we gotta train faster. So maybe these and then this will be lumber mill. Right. How do we easily access a group of people? By having units selected, hold control and then click on one, two, or three, or some other numbers. So now holding control, one. Now it's group one. We don't see it, but if we press number two key, there's nothing. Number one key here. It's all selected. All of uh, group one. So there's that. Okay, we unlock some more. So um, we can make more lumber cam or lumber mills. Doesn't matter. Okay, uh, they all have different animations on the buildings and they gain levels. You can see that rank 1, maximum rank 3 and they get bonuses. Uh oh. So we have 46. Yeah, we need 100. They don't get to repair these things, so, like, can't really repair, unfortunately. And uh, yeah. These, they do get destroyed and we don't get to repair them. So what we can do is probably send crossbow women up. We can tell them to go up the ladder. Or rather the stairs. Some of them down here can fight those. Just keep producing. Select and keep on producing. Let Saruman fight these. Yeah, they can throw. So they have got range. They also have got melee and have trample damage so when they walk across our units our units just get trampled and die oh no getting destroyed over there i think we need more laborers let's get one more labor go 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 fight those you go there fight those please Okay, this is our resources. We still have a lot. This is our command. We have 300 total. Yeah, see? Even when they collapse, we lose units as well. Okay, how many buildings do we have? Not too bad. But I think we need more buildings. So, lumber mills. We need to get more. Oh, no. Not done yet, really. Oh, wow. Look at them. Just flying off. <laughs> okay, number one, group number one. This is group number two? No, it's a new group. Okay, we get more. 
Never mill. Okay. Uh, there are elves coming in from here, I think. Is that what it is? From where? Oh, from here. Okay. Okay, we can get our units. Uh, hang on. Oh, did I? What did I do? I combined them so you can combine melee and range units. Okay, go on there, please. Go on to there. You can see them actually go on the walls. That's really nice. And these are laborers. We want to move them to resources. Number mill. We don't even really have to care too much unless it's a major force of enemy. Our crossbowmen can deal with these easily. I think they'll be able to attack them. But their range is not as good compared to the elven archers, of course. Elven archers are better. Or rather, elven warriors. Did we lose a battalion already? I think we did. Move in and fight them. And then we might want to train more. Make sure our command point is at 300. Okay. There we go. Move them over. And then we are going to contend with something really, really bad later. But before that, let's continue building. Make sure that we fill up every slot. Over here. Yeah, we do have some of these pikemen, but we cannot train them for now. It's just something that we can get for free. So we got two. Two of them here. More ants. Wait, where's my, my archers? Go, go, go on here. Okay, these are a combination of both melee and ranged. Yeah, this is a combination. Melee plus range. See? As they walk past, our units just die. Look. Oh, okay. They light on fire. Level 2... Level 2 archers, or crossbowmen, they just sort of... Uh, have fire arrows. So you can see here, it's on, it's on fire because these are level 2s. Maximum rank is rank 10. Okay. So we still have a lot of enemies here, and they are attacking Orthanc, which is surprisingly invulnerable. Yeah, they're just attacking, but uh, it's going to take a long time without any of these fire people. So we need some of these fire arrows people. You see these banners? Yeah, that means they're level 2 and above. And with these banners, they replenish the people if they do get to stand around for a little while. So it's good to get people to level 2 because they will replenish. And they keep their EXP. So that's a good thing. You can see here. We select them. Flaming arrows plus 15 damage. It's really nice. Eventually you see them replenish. Take a look at how they replenish. They need to wait a little while though. And they must stand still. They cannot just move. Okay, those are a different group. Yeah, you saw that? And then this. That scene though, from the movie, I think it's a different one. It's not regarding Isengard. Anyways, doesn't really matter. We have 240 plus. We need more people. So let's get more people. Just keep training people. Also, for this stage, if we do run out of uh, wood, like you can see them standing around doing nothing, so no more wood, um, what we can do is actually to send them out here. There's more wood, so we can get more resources. Just in case we're out of resources, we still can save the game, or rather salvage the game, by sending them out here. There's a few more wood around here. It's not, like, totally hopeless yet. Yeah, see? More wood around there. Okay. And then there's one more wood here. Of course, lumber cams aren't, like, the best options. If we have better options, we should choose them. Although, they might be more expensive. Do we really need to send these out to harvest wood? Not exactly. We should be able to win this game. 
We now have command 300. Okay. And... Yeah, see, if it's a melee and the range, you see this icon. If we right-click, they will combine, but we're not going to combine them for now. All right. So, you see these uh, replenishing until they have a full count. So, that's what it is. Check our objectives again. We have 16 buildings that we need to build. Saruman needs to be level 2, finish with 100. We should have 100. 16 buildings. We should have 16 shouldn't be a problem with the 16. This is not a place to build anything. But I think we filled up every slot. No, not yet. Okay, build one more. Is this a slot that can be cut? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, good. Double check, make sure that everything, every slot has been filled up. Do not leave any slot empty. I think this is not... If anything, we can manually count them. But now we're going to move out to face the enemy. And also we don't want to bring too many out because the enemies can cast something. So put this as group 1. And then bring archers. Get them onto here. Get some more of these. Over. Onto here. Meanwhile, this is melee. So melee needs to go back down here. So we want Saruman to go with us outside and maybe another melee group to support Saruman because we don't want Saruman to be battling alone. Oh no, your wood cutter. Oh no, wood cutter, wood cutter. Go to wood. Wood, 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 wood. wood. Oh no, there's no wood here. Wood, 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 wood. Oh, we have a, another camp here. This camp is uh, for us to get more resources, I think. But let's get wood first. Any more wood here? No more? Really? Here? 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 Nothing? There should be more wood though. Did we select... Oh, I think we select a group of different people. Okay, whatever. You are? Oh, you are the fighter. That's why. It's a group of different people. That's why they didn't respond. If not, we should be able to get wood from there. And also... If you want to get Saruman over to here, we'll notice that there's something over here. Can we get across? Let's see. And yeah, they cast that thing. And then... Oh no, they're moving. Okay, can we quickly go over here first? <laughs> yeah, what that does is that will stun our units. Meanwhile, Saruman goes over here. Is Saruman level 2 yet? No, not level 2 yet. Okay, we can build one more lumber camp here. Yeah, so these places are for building. So we can build things, but we need to get Saruman to level 2 now. So quickly go back there. We must get Saruman back there, and we must have a command point. So keep on training more people so that we must keep a command point above 100. And then you, please, cast some thing so that you get to level 2. Come on, faster, 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 faster. There we go. Okay, now you're level 2. We should get that bonus objective. Aha, uh -huh, that's all. Just in time. Let all the world fear the darkness. Now, as the screen rotates, it means mission ended. And it means we're victorious, but it could also mean we're in defeat, because if I recall correctly, Defeats also end in screen rotations. Anyway, this number of troops, that's not what we had. This is a cutscene. Well, anyway, we did get all our bonus objectives. That's really nice. We have hero veterancy. We have unit veterancy. Five of them. And we have territory bonus. So, look at these things. And the total victory, apparently, it's only available if we complete all the bonus objectives. Like, oh no, can I even click on it? Must hover the mouse. Okay, fine. But this is the battle statistics. We got resources, buildings, built or destroyed, units trained or destroyed, etc. And then, veterancy, hero veterancy, territory bonuses... Here, for each zone that we finish, each area that we finish, we get some bonuses. 
like 25 command so remember we had 300 now it'll be 325 plus two power so we just get more power and it helps us buy new skills or new global skills because it will get more expensive now let's continue As mentioned, units continuing the journey. These are the units that will continue the journey. But let's see uh, who they are. So we can rename the people and we can click to rename them. So this is uh, Uruk, Uruk, and Expo, M1, M1A. So we're gonna. Uh, have no hang on dash a okay, Be better this way. So we're gonna rename everything Oh no, I accidentally pressed the escape key and uh, Yeah The forest of Fangorn will burn <sighs> Fuel the industry of Isengard I'm a little disappointed that the escape key just exited that uh, screen. It should only be a certain button because, you know, like we're typing something and we want to undo it. And the escape key should not exit the menu. So we couldn't even complete the naming. Well, we now have 170 Uruks. The army's continuing the journeys, right? But I don't think all of them came with us. That's it. We're done with... This one, Isengard, we defended Isengard, and we're now moving on. Also, if we hover the mouse over Isengard, I'm not sure if I mentioned this just now, but we get to see the cutscene, or rather the movie snippet. So, we get to have a glimpse of uh, what it's like. But we're done with Isengard. Next episode, we're going to Fangorn in Act 2. We're going to get 20% resources and plus 1 power. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.